Hello, all my beautiful vibe drivers. Welcome to your August 4th, Wednesday, 2021 reading. This is our relentlessly optimistic, ever fabulous positivity for all sun, moon, and rising signs. This is our manifestation reading. We're affirming where we want to be in our lives using the energy of tarot and multiple other oracle decks with various energies and they allow us to see a broad spectrum of all the things that are working in our favor to continue to move forward and keep everything moving in the best possible vibrational frequency using the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and the power of manifestation. As we focus our inner energy on our outer circumstances, the, the goal here is to change what we see or to continue moving forward if we have managed to get ourselves on the right track uh, to keep building. Let's just, just keep moving, building on each victory with the next one. So with this energy uh, understood, if you'd like a private tarot reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you. You can also see different things that are going on, like the event that's coming up in September 18th on September 18th in uh, Galveston, Texas at Moody Gardens. If you'd like to register for that, there is a place to do that in person and via Zoom. And also you can become part of the Vibe Tribe and visit the store. So the Royal Mystic Curiosity Shop is always open. And we will move right on into the energy of the reading. One of my favorite cards is the Queen of Cups because this particular deck, she has a mermaid tail. <laughs> And I love mermaids, and I feel like this is a very optimistic energy of looking forward into the future. Well, she's giving a toast to the future there. It, it's a very, very cheerful energy, which is contrary to most Queen of Cups energy. Um, very strong energy of being um, optimistic and using her mermaid magic to manifest her best possible outcome. Then we have the Hierophant, which is the energy of acceptance or being told you are um, now approved or being given permission to move forward in whatever this is. It may be a job, a membership to something, or the approval of something you've applied for. So we love both energies. This is, uh, by the way, Taurus Major Arcana, the Hierophant. And we will move on into the reading. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Divine spirit. Ooh, nice. Spirit guides. Gods and goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow everyone to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome, nice, this blessed energy. Thank you, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So we've got the Nine of Cups to start off with, and you had the Ten of Pentacles on that second cut card. That's amazing energy of solid financial abundance. Remember, the Ten of Pentacles is the energy of receiving the lifetime of abundance. So moving toward that financial goal for sure, very solidly. With that Queen of Cups, giving cheers to it. And oh my goodness, look at what our underlier is. Wheel of Fortune. Woo woo! Big cheer. So, the Nine of Cups is a yes from the universe for your heart's desire to be granted. And the Wheel of Fortune, my darlings, is the breakthrough moment you need to get the motivation or to get the wheel running in the right direction where you're literally kind of launched into your destiny uh, as the Wheel of Fortune does release you from karmic holds and allows you to be in a place of very fast uh, movement, even if you feel like you've been held back moving toward what you want in your lifetime. This is the energy of breaking down all things that are blocking you. All red lights turn green, all doors open, and all obstacles fall to dust. So, talk about the best card. Hello. Just to show up here in this energy. We've got empowerment. Of course, you're going to feel empowered. This is the energy of raising you up out of the lower energy, back into the higher frequency. I recognize and appreciate all that inspires me to feel empowered. <clears throat> this is important to understand that being in a place of empowerment means appreciating the things that trigger you to remember that energy. 
That's why it's saying I recognize and appreciate all that inspires me to feel empowered. So make those notable things and attach yourself to the victories so that you can have the little markers in your life to build on each time you get in the feeling of feeling like, well, maybe this isn't going to be the best thing ever. Um, or maybe I shouldn't have done this. Sometimes we're at that energy right before a big breakthrough happens. And that's the big breakthrough. So just keep pursuing, even if it feels like it's waning, that's where your empowerment has to come in and take over and push you past that little shallow of, 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 of waning energy, okay? Because it's worth it to keep going. Turning back only makes you feel defeated and uh, like you've lost something or that you didn't quite do something right. Push it all the way to the finish line, my darlings. Push it all the way to the finish line because you never know what's waiting for you until you reach that goal. So please do that. Even if it's something that uh, is, it may be an exercise for something bigger later, okay? Let yourself keep moving in that energy. Communication. Speak your destiny. It's important. Speak your result that you want. I effectively communicate and clarify my needs in order to achieve my goals. This is where it's important, A, for you to speak it so that your heart is resonating with what your goal is. B, so that the universe can get together and help conspire with you to achieve it. You'll never know how powerful that is until you try it. I did not. I, I was a curious person, and that is how I ended up finding out about speaking your divine destiny and your goals into being um, your voice is a vibrational energy and we are all made up of things that are vibrating in synchronicity and um, how, why wouldn't it work it's, it doesn't cost you anything to try let go of your previous uh, disbelief and we have to do that we have to release disbelief surrender that and go with it let's see what happens just do an experiment. That is exactly what I did. I did one experiment, a big one. I manifested a house. And I will tell you, I'm sitting in that house. It's not the greatest, biggest, largest, most beautiful. It is my house. And that's the, it, I knew it was my house when I found it, and or it found me, actually. And um, you just have to be in a place of being willing to try. That's really all there is. Passion. The frequency of passion reminds me that beneath very intense emotion that lies the hidden gem of insight, balance, and calm. It assists us in finding the balance within this intensity by moving us from chaos into the calm of its core, where we can let its long-lasting wisdom fill us up. Now remember, passion doesn't have to be anger. Passion can be a fire in your belly to achieve something. And... Once you get the fire in your belly, that just kind of sets you off on the, on the path of it. I got a fire in my belly to do this, and it didn't, like it wasn't over in one day. This is a continuation, and, and that's the whole thing about passion. When you find your passion, it doesn't just fade away. It's not something you just do and then, okay, we're done. Um, my passion continues to grow and change, and it's actually a living thing. So be in the place of nurturing what makes you feel that, that drive, uh, and, and you'll never be disappointed. Love is everywhere, and I am loving and lovable. Loving people fill my life, and I find myself easily expressing love to others. I experience love wherever I go. It's important to be open and, and, and willing to be gracious and loving to people. Love is everywhere, and I am loving and lovable. Loving people fill my life, and I find myself easily expressing love to others. I experience love wherever I go. Some people see love as weakness, and it couldn't be further from the truth. It is the strongest energy force in the universe. Once you understand that, You'll never allow yourself to not be in that energy. This is a new day, one that I have never lived before. I stay in the now and enjoy each and every moment. The past is over. 
That's why I start this reading with just let go of everything before today. Start with today. The past is over. This is a new day, one that I have never lived before. I stay in the now and enjoy each and every moment. Absolutely. All right, let's see what our second card is. We have the Two of Swords, which is reminding you that logic is not what we're here for. This particular energy is all about allowing yourself to get past logic and open the creative source to allow yourself to move forward. Logic sometimes can trip you up, and that's why the swords are bent here, because it's saying it's not, it's not useful. Logic is useless here, in the place of manifesting. Three of Cups is the universe assisting you by pouring double into your cup to overflow. In the standard tarot, these are three little angels called seraphim, tipping the cups to your, to your favor. So all of this is coming out saying, if you'll let go and, and put yourself in a place of, of communicating your desire and standing in your power, letting yourself be, be building upon each success, find the thing that makes your heart set ablaze and that you yearn to do and allow yourself to move in that energy. The universe will create a, a, an opportunity if you can focus on the goal. And that's it. Just the, the, whatever the goal is. Not everything else. Not this. Not how. Well, I don't even see how that's going to happen. That doesn't. It's not your concern. The universe will make that part happen. What do you want? Pick it. Stay focused on it. That's the hardest part, truly, is to stay focused, even when you see nothing happening. Because you've got to set that energy out and you've got to give it enough time to bounce off and come back to you bearing fruit. Right? So, have a wonderful day. Happy manifesting to you all, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Namaste, my friends.